Welcome to Art Crafts Episode 4, How To Video. This episode we will be covering XP bands, how they're used in the realm, what they're used for, and some of the things you shouldn't do just to get XP bands. What are XP bands? A few examples of XP bands and why we use them Examples of XP bands can go from the very simple, this is just a pipe cleaner with some beads on it, you can use just regular pipe cleaner, to a little more extravagant, you can make your own, or you can purchase your own in many different styles and many different colors, right from Battlestuff.com, the official Marcraft store. What they're used for. If you kill someone in the realm, you can and should take their XP band because it will give you and your character XP. This also shows that this person has been killed once, they go back and they respawn and they can be killed two more times. It is considered unsportsmanlike to kill someone with no XP bands if you initiate combat. If they initiate combat, by all means, please attack them and send them packing back to the graveyard. When you are in the realm, if you do see a monster with black or gray XP, be warned. They will be harder to kill, especially the ones with the gray XP. These are very high level monsters. It may take more than one hit to bring them down. Also, once you have taken monster XP, they, it cannot be taken from you by another player. This is your XP once you've taken it. Just return the bands to the admins or the monster master so they can be handed back out to the monsters at the next event. But another, another character cannot take monster XP from you. All right, now that Ronan explained to you the XP bands a little bit further, we're gonna do an example of how this is actually played out. Odin and Bucky are going to go ahead and uh, give us a duel, and then you'll see how it actually plays out. Oh, Odin takes a dive. Bucky asks permission to touch, he goes in and grabs it. Most of them are on a carabiner or something close to it. He takes the XP band, puts it on his, his belt loop. Now you can't actually put it in your pocket. Yeah. You, you can, you can, you can loop it on itself. Okay. So now we're gonna fight again. See if, uh, if Odin can get XP um, he has the choice to pick his band, if he wants his band back or if he wants one of Bucky's. XP bands are, go ahead and fight, XP bands are, are a unique item to each player, to each character, and it's an easy way to see what character has taken the other character. So Bucky goes down, Odin asks permission to touch. Now, if it's, in an, uh, if it's in an area that may be a little bit uncomfortable, Bucky can say permission denied, and he can actually grab it off himself. The player who is uh, getting the XP band can also, The player getting the XP band can also uh, say if they want the player to grab the XP band or not. So now as you see on, uh, on Odin's belt, he has one band of Bucky's and two of his own. Likewise with Bucky's. Um, so you can, you can see and identify. Now would you bring up a uh, a very uh, important thing. Your XP bands <clears throat> must be visible. 
So where Bucky's uh, XP bands are right now <clears throat> would not be allowed in the realm. So you have to have them visible. Bucky just got his costume and he doesn't have a belt yet. And with a tunic like that, you need a, you need a belt to hang stuff on. So we'll get him hooked up with a belt. All right, now that we know a little bit more about XP bands, let's have a recap. First of all, XP bands are there to track your kills. This also reduces the amount of unsportsmanlike conduct. If you, if you see a new person and they have no more XP, you know they're, you shouldn't really be attacking. Also, and this is the, maybe one of the most important things, your XP bands must be worn on your wrist or on your waist. If you are killed, and they ask for permission to touch. They will take one of your XP bands. If you deny them the right to touch, you have to give them one of your XP bands. This has been XP Bands. Thank you.